Hey everyone, so today I'm going to make a video that's going to supplement my concealer routine video and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about some of my favorite drugstore concealers. Now, I know there were a lot of steps in the concealer routine video, but that's kind of for flawless, if you know, photo ready makeup. On a day to day basis, I'll skip a step or two here. It's usually numerous steps, definitely more than one. And I will substitute uh, a drugstore concealer um, instead to kind of save up, you know, the more expensive ones. And I'm going to tell you guys the ones that I like. I do want to say the honorable mention that didn't make it into the video, but I really, really like is uh, Makeup Forever Lift Concealer. I have sampled it twice from Sephora and I really, really love the product. I just don't own it because I have enough concealers to work through as is. So make it forever lift. Um, I got a lot of questions about creasing. So I know that's on your mind a lot. I know that's a concern for a lot of you. And I probably should have included this in that video. But line fillers are a really, really great way to prevent that. I have two that I've used and that I would be happy to recommend. I don't even know if they still make this one anymore. I bought it many, many years ago. Um, it's Smashbox filter. That seems wrong. Anyway, it has like a rubbery plastic tip and it's like, you just click it and the product comes out of the tip. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if they still make it or not. I will have to check that for you guys. But another one that I know is available, you can get it at Bath and Body Works is Dr. Wexler's No Injection Instant Line Filler. And it just has a you know a skinny tip and you need just the smallest amount. And what both of these do is the silicone in them kind of sits in your lines to kind of create a smooth surface for you to put on your concealer. So if you have a problem with creasing, that's a really great way to deal with that issue. More preventatively though, you just want to make sure that your under eye area is moisturized. I don't have an under eye moisturizer that I really love to recommend. Um, I tweeted asking people what their favorites were, so I'll be trying some stuff to kind of see what I like, what I don't, and I will let you guys know. Um, okay, for my favorite drugstore concealers. The first one is Physician's Formula Conceal RX, which stands for prescription, but I did a blog article, one of my very first blog articles was actually about how I compared this concealer to the MAC Select cover-up. So this is the step that it would replace in my routine. It is really, really great stuff. I got it for under $3. It was on sale. The only reason I didn't feature it in my concealer routine video is that sometimes you can find it and sometimes you can't. And I, I really steer away from talking about stuff that's discontinued or you can't find it because it doesn't help you. So if you can find this, um, great. Try it. I really like it. Good stuff. The next one, oh, I couldn't find it in my um, makeup kit, but it's the Maybelline 24 Hour Stay in Place Concealer, which came out with the Maybelline 24 Hour Stay in Place Foundation. That stuff is really good. It comes in a tube like the Origins Concealer does, So, and then it has a wand. The only thing with that concealer is it dries really, really quickly, so... You have to blend so fast so that it doesn't settle and then you're rubbing, you know, the delicate eye area. But it's good stuff. The next one is something that I tried really recently. It's the Revlon Age Defying. And the color selection with this is a little bit odd. I mean, I found something that I liked, but I got light medium and medium. This one is medium. And I don't really see a difference between them. Um, so the color selection is kind of Poor. I bought two of them because it was buy one get one 50% off and I couldn't decide between the colors so it was perfect. I was like okay I'll just buy both and return which one I you know I don't like and get the right color but they're so close to me uh, I just ended up keeping both of them. Um, this stuff has Bodiform. It's really really creamy and it feels really good under your eyes. It There's no concealer that on its own doesn't crease. That's just a miracle product that has not been invented. But this comes pretty darn close. And my one warning is after I apply like under eye concealer, I will like wipe the excess where I get red, like around my nose or on my chin. And I did that and like in an hour I had these like weird bumps. So I think my skin was reacting to something in this. I don't know if it's the Bodafirm or not. I don't want to find out. So I would just say... 
if you're gonna use this, uh, restrict it to the eye area because that skin is different than the skin on the rest of your face. Um, cause I don't know if it'll make you break out. Like the, the problematic like bumps went away overnight. So that's how I can kind of tell that it was just an allergic reaction or I was reacting to something because once I, once I washed it off, it, it went away. So the last one is my absolute favorite. And if you had to try one drugstore concealer like now, it would be the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer. Now, I'm not a big fan of their foundations, but I do love this concealer to death. There's the proof. Um, I've worked my way through this pretty well. Um, this is the absolute best concealer to touch up with. So what I do is I just chuck this in my purse and if I ever think like you know my concealer is wearing off or I like kind of like rush through my routine in the morning this stuff is really great because you don't need powder to set it it's like this it's like creamy without the wet feeling but and it's fluffy and you don't need powder to set it and it doesn't make me break out so uh, actually the makeup the face that I have on is what I put on this morning probably at about 8.30, and this is what I use to touch up just to get camera ready. So just put this back under my eyes, and it's not heavy, it doesn't look cakey, I mean, you guys can see right here, and I just really, really love this stuff. My color is beige medium 0 through 2.5. I'll have all the details in the description box, don't worry. So those are my favorite drugstore concealers, and you guys got to see my more expensive favorites. I'd love to hear what your favorites are. I got a little bit of feedback in the last video, but if there's anything you guys think that I should definitely try, let me know. And I also update on Twitter whenever I see like discounts on my favorite things, not just concealers, um, eyeshadows, or when Estee Lauder has gift time. So you guys can follow me on Twitter if you want updates on that. Oh, and the brands that I talked about today go on sale a lot. So watch my video on uh, Shop Smart for Makeup and go to sundaysaver.com if you live in the U.S. And you can find out what beauty specials are going on at the drugstore around the corner or Ulta. Tons of great ideas in that video if you guys haven't seen it yet. And as always, I will see you guys soon. Bye.